We've been learning a lot about sounds, analog and digital. What you see here is 25 hertz, which is a very low frequency. In fact, it's so low that the wave, you can see it, but you can't hear it. In fact, let's go to another one that we might be able to hear, which is 100 hertz. And it will sound like this. And you can see the wave moving a little bit larger crest than the last one. And we can go to now 500 megahertz. And 500 megahertz, higher frequency, closer waves. We can go to 800. And now it starts to be a frequency that actually is not very pleasant to my ears. And you can see it closer together. Let's go to 1,000 hertz or a kilohertz and see what that sounds like. Higher frequency, you can hear it, you can see it. We've created something called a Rubin tube, and what we're going to do here is see if you can actually hear, see, and see it in three dimensions. Let's see what happens when I add some sound to this. Now, it's kind of loud, but if I turn down the flame a little bit, we might be able to see some differences. I see a little peak here, and this wave should match the sine wave that we see on the computer. And if I switch to another frequency, now you can see, guys, how the frequency really has a nice wave and crest and top to it. Not bad. Because all sound is vibration. We can increase the sound. Can you see the waves in between here on the sounds? It's kind of cool. It's very cool. Well, we've learned a lot about sound, digital, analog. We've seen it in 2D. We've seen it in 3D. This next stop, we're going to kind of put these flames out because actually we're going somewhere underwater to see how sound behaves. Let's check it out.